Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you know, we are so dedicated here at Look Media to help promote the arts. And every time I turn my head, I find some other organization someplace that really promotes the arts in our area. And lo and behold, Boston Spa School System, the middle school, puts on a production every year. Now you might think, okay, there's a bunch of kids putting on a play, and there's mom and dad with the cameras and all this other stuff. Well, how about a school tackling high school musical or Grease, something of that caliber, involves 50 actors, 50 people behind the stage. Well, lo and behold, the Balsam Spa School System, the middle school, is putting on a high school musical, and joining me today are two of the lead actors, and you're going to want to hear this conversation. So joining me, ladies, first is Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Hi. Nice to have you here. And Kyle. Hello. Nice to have you here. So, I'm going to start at the ripe young age of however old you are. <laughs> you decided to get into acting. Why? I really think that acting is just a way that you can express yourself in any way you want. You can be anyone you want on stage, and you don't have to be put into a boundary such as an eighth grader in middle school with this group of friends. You can be anyone you want to be on stage. So. Uh, I love that. Um, what, made, what got you started in it? What? Um, I really think, I looked up to a lot of the older kids that were in Launching Pad and they would come and visit the elementary schools mm -hmm. and they would perform snippets of the shows and it really, it makes you just say, wow, like I want to do that someday. That, that's just something that makes you feel so good about your entire community as well. Just, mm -hmm. it's really great to see everyone. <laughs> it is. You know what? I want to bring the viewer in on this. The Launching Pad is the name of the drama club at the Boston Spa Middle School. And, uh, you know, same question for you, Kyle. <laughs> what got you interested in this? Well, my brother was, Mark Kimberly, who was Tin Man in the show's production of Wizard of Oz a couple of years ago. And when I saw it the first time, I was like, wow, that looks like so much fun. It's just, like, this program is just so, I can't put it into words. It's like, <laughs> it's just so much fun. I, I can't really, Explain it. It's <laughs> well, you know why you can't? Why? Because it's, it, it's constant discovery, really? if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, every time you go out on the stage, you know the role you're supposed to play, but your own personality and your own <laughs> spin on the character really creates something unique. And that changes every time, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Now, you said something very interesting to me before we went on. Jordan was involved backstage in the costume department on the show prior to this, and you got to really appreciate what goes on behind the curtain, right? Yes, you really, looking from the other point of view, not from the point of view looking at the audience and performing, but from looking at the performers, you get to really understand how much they, they need everyone backstage. It's not, it's not all about being in the spotlight on stage and having people cheer for you. They're also cheering for the people backstage because without them, we wouldn't have a show. It wouldn't even be possible. You know, it's really true. Now, um, you got a really active club here with the launching pad, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, so we've got, if I'm doing my math correctly, uh, I wasn't wrong about 50-something actors on stage, mm -hmm. right? No. Yeah, no, like 56. Around. That's amazing. So what, what are the rehearsal schedules like? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, no, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. In the beginning, it's 2 to 4.30, 2 to 3 to 4.30, and then once you get more into it, once you get into the auditorium, it's... 2.30 to 5.30, mm -hmm. then the last week is 2.30 usually to 8.30, sometimes later. That's tech week. It's uh, so, uh, and you do a dress rehearsal, I assume, Yes, right? we do dress sure. rehearsals. And in the last month that we're preparing for the show, which is the month of January, we have Saturday rehearsals usually, which I think are from around 9 o'clock to 2 usually, mm -hmm. depending on what we're working on. So. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, one thing struck me also. You know, you think about exposing young adults to the arts and you realize that that sets a framework for what they can be, what they can aspire to be, allows them to be themselves, their own personalities projecting, which of course I just think is, is a wonderful leg up on understanding how the world operates, you know, and they take this show to the elementary school so that the younger children can actually see them so they can aspire to be like you are, right? Now you told me you, that, that happened to you, right? Yeah, I... I, that was one of my favorite things about elementary school, I think. We would have assemblies, and 
sometimes we wouldn't know what the assemblies were about, but I would always get so excited when I knew that the assembly was from the Boston Spa Middle School launching pad because it just makes you feel like so excited to go to middle school. Sometimes you're nervous, mm -hmm. but it makes you really just want to go and want to express yourself and be your own person. And well, you're testing yourself, you know? And if you start at this age and learn how to test yourself, that's a real leg up. Trust me, that's a real leg up. <laughs> I can tell you from experience. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, now, the, uh, the, the uh, musical, you performed it last week, so this weekend yes. is the last opportunity to yes. see it. Yes. Right? There's a performance tonight, Kyle? Yes, tonight at 7 p.m. and then tomorrow at 1 p.m., the matinee, and then 7 p.m. And then uh, probably a cast party after 7 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> tears. And tears. There's yes. a lot of crying that will probably happen. A lot of crying. It means a lot to everyone uh -huh. that's a part of Launching Pad, whether you're a crew or cast. It just means mm -hmm. so much, and it's sad to see it end. Yeah, well, now you're both graduating from middle school. Yep. Got your whole life in front of you. Oh. Well, do you think you'll pursue acting? Um, I don't know if I'll necessarily pursue acting on stage, but being that I was in costumes in the past, and I really do appreciate the crew and everyone that's involved with the production in general. So I think I would definitely consider a career either backstage or s at least helping with theater. I would definitely like to mm -hmm. help with theater in some way. Well, you know what? I always find it uh, absolutely captivating when you watch something like the Academy Awards. Mm. And, you know, they'll give awards out to costume design and things like that. And you really see what goes into it from the very sketches in the beginning to actually constructing the costumes themselves, you know? How about you? You want to be an actor? Well, in the beginning, when I was thinking about this, like, I don't know, I don't really know if I want to be an actor. I was thinking about being computer scientist and engineer. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I really started to think about it. It's like, I can't let this go. It's like, <laughs> I can't, it's just so much fun and uh -huh. you learn so much from it. You meet so many new people. It's mm -hmm. just, I want to stay with it. I want to someday, someday be on Broadway. Well, fantastic. Well, obviously two very impressive young adults. Uh, it's the High School Musical, big play on stage at the Boston Spa School Complex, which is right down the middle of Boston Spa, right? Yeah. yeah. And it, uh, it's being put on by the Launching Pad, which is a drama club for the middle school. You've got really a couple of opportunities. Uh, tonight, 7 p.m., tomorrow at 1 p.m., and then tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Now, mind you, the tickets are like five or 10 bucks, and they were telling me earlier that all of the proceeds go into the pool for next year's production. So, you know, help foster this kind of unique growth opportunity for them. And uh, thank you both for coming on. It's so much fun talking to you. You're both so impressive. So uh, thank you for having us. good luck thank to you. both of you. All right? Thank you. you thank too. You. Okay, thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.